What's up YouTube, Little Candy Gamer here and today we're going to be talking about a pretty sensitive topic, for me at least. Um, I'm going to be talking about art bullies or critics and a lot of things like that uh, in relation to my personal experiences and also I'm going to be trying to help anyone who is going through the same thing because I don't think that it's something that's really talked about from this perspective or something that we should really have to go through alone. I'm going to be talking about my art journey so far and the hurdles that I've come across, bullies, critics, etc. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start off by saying the, the experience that happened to me which quite upset me for a while. Um, I've just recently been able to move past it. <clears throat> so when I first very like when I very first started out on Instagram, sorry, a frog in my throat. When I first started out on Instagram. I saw these artists who I really really looked up to and some of them even got me into drawing these kind of drawings in the first place and I worshipped them. I would go on their pages, I'd like all their posts, I'd read everything that they wrote. I would just idolise these people because I loved their artwork and I was so inspired by these people. And I think I, I first, the first thing I did was I used somebody's artwork as a reference and she got overly mad about it I was just learning it and there's nothing wrong with using art as references or anything that you want to do guys don't let anybody ever shame you about the way that you create art because it really has nothing to do with them so anyway what I did was I used this lady's art as a reference and she got really mad she made a post about me i freaked out and i blocked her because i just didn't want to deal with any of that negativity or stress and then things escalated she started telling a lot of the artists and i ended up having to remove my piece even though i didn't feel like i'd done the wrong thing i got to the point where i was in the car and I just burst out into tears because of what had happened because I felt like somebody had attacked a part of my soul where I, I'd posted something that was very dear to me online and I'd had it attacked um, so yeah, anyway that was the first thing and then and this was a big artist she had quite a few thousand followers I think 10,000 followers and then it happened again um, this wasn't because of any artwork that I created or anything but there was this other artist that I really admired um, I still admire her as an artist even though I found out that she does trace 90% of her work anyway but she I purchased an artwork off her for $300 which was the last money that I had in my bank account and then it was like I was on her radar and she started like going on all my social media and kind of just being negative about my art telling me that I needed to get my own style and not borrow from other people's styles and all this stuff which I thought was like really hypocritical when I found out that she'd been tracing things anyway I won't go too long on about these stories it's just that really upset me I was in bed for three weeks pretty much like apart from getting up and looking after my baby um, luckily my mother-in-law was here and she was helping out with the baby because I just couldn't I couldn't do anything it was really really traumatic so that's I guess what people can go through because of the bullying and I've heard it's especially bad in the fan art community and there was actually this artist who did Steven Universe fan art and she ended up in hospital because she tried to commit suicide over these bullies who were being quite nasty to her and 
I just want to say that when bullies shame your art, that is completely on them. Usually there's some underlying issue that they have where they feel jealous or they, they feel some reason to come and attack you. That's not really... That's not normal behaviour. I actually had some bullying over this piece that I'm drawing in the background as well. I had people messaging me, I had somebody posting about it in his story because I made a post saying... Because he, he, he made it like a mission to take the piece and f complete it before I could post my piece and I didn't even name him or anything I just I defended my artwork I said I had this idea somebody else took my idea and they've posted it before me and it quite upset me and apparently that was a reason to come and bully me but the thing is that if people are shaming you about your art you know they shouldn't be having time to come and shame you about their art if they're working on their own art then they shouldn't have that time to be able to come and attack you. They should be in their studio drawing or painting or whatever. I draw about eight or ten hours every single day and I run a full-time business and I don't have time to go and bully other people. So that's coming from I guess the negative energy about some negative feelings towards themselves. I don't think that it has anything to do with you. Um, you know, I, I've had a guy say that my art burned his eyes. That's another thing. Art critics, it's never okay for somebody to come and tell you that there's something wrong with your work. Like this is out of proportion, that something negative. What you should do in this instance is block them straight away. Block them. Who wants to deal with that? You don't need this negativity in your life. You've spent all this effort creating something. Do you really need somebody coming and telling you what's wrong about it? You're your own worst critic. You're already going to know all the flaws about your own work. You already sat there analyzing it going, I could have fixed this, but you know, I'm drawing in colored pencil or whatever. I can't erase it now. Um, the other thing is talent shaming, where people will be jealous of your method or your success, success shaming, um, people saying, people said to me I couldn't enter a competition because I draw for a living, that's talent shaming, that's like nothing about, it's, it's not my fault if they can't draw and they haven't put in 10,000 hours or whatever into drawing like I possibly have, that's you know, it's, it's just unnecessary negativity and you don't want that sort of negativity in your life because being an artist, being creative and <laughs> trying to be creative, especially like for a living, is something that's positive and something that's supposed to lift up your soul. I just think as artists we should be coming together and bringing each other up, not tearing each other apart and you'll hear me say that a lot because I really truly believe that as artists we should be uplifting towards each other we know the hard journey you know I'm on my journey and you're on your journey those bullies they're probably on their own journey but maybe they should be focusing more on their journey I'm not focusing on trying to get people to change because I know that they have got to want to change in themselves but I think that if you need help with something like this you really need to talk to somebody about it um, you're, you're welcome to talk to me about it send me a message I'd love to help because I've been through it and sometimes it can just really help to talk to somebody else who's been through a similar situation my favorite artists had been bullied by the same group of art fan artists as me and I was talking to her about it and it really really made me feel a lot better but don't ever let it get to that point where you feel like you want to kill yourself or you know you're going through something really bad and you're not talking to anybody about it you never have to 
go through this alone. There's always people who you can talk to who have been through it. There's a lot of other artists. Um, if you can't find them, just you know, send me a message. I'm not kidding. Just I will respond to you. So predominantly, uh, the fan art community is what I'm talking about here, but it also occurs in all types of art. I'm not trying to discriminate. Um, I'm not trying to discriminate against any art type. If anyone needs to talk about it, I really wish that they would come to me um, or even a, a close friend or someone. Don't go through it alone. You don't have to. And often I just feel like that this topic just isn't talked about enough. People feel shame, shameful. They feel post shame. They don't want to post anything. And then they go, some of them go on to do it to other people. This particular bully that was bullying me, she was bullied by another artist as well, as far as I'm aware from what I've heard. And it's really sad. Like, I actually really loved her art, um, despite the method that she used to make it. I mean, she had traced a lot of her art that I am aware of, but then she was going around accusing other people of tracing and, and doing things, which I think is really sad. I would have liked to be friends with this person, but I couldn't because of how manipulative she was. She would go and try and make other people feel sorry for her while she's, you know, bullying other people on the other end of the spectrum. But when things like that happen, what you've got to realize is it's not about you. This artist or person doing this often has something wrong with them in their life where they feel the need to go and put other people down because that's not a normal thing. Most people don't go out of their way to try and hurt somebody else. Most people are friendly. Most people just treat other people how they want to be treated. And it's just these very few, I might say like one in maybe a thousand people is like this. Um, and there's also gatekeeping in the art community where some of the larger artists think they don't, they don't want um, smaller artists to come in and, and steal their limelight or something, steal something, steal any attention off them, steal customers off them, they feel threatened. Um, and that's their own insecurity that makes them feel like that. That's got nothing to do with you guys. Any of us. And it's beyond anything that we control. Um, instead of getting them to change, we need to just ignore them. As hard as that can be, just don't give them any time. Because if you react, then they're winning. They're getting what they want. And that's what I did a lot in the beginning. I just reacted to it and to the point I went, well, some people are going to believe what they say. Um, that's not really my problem. I have, a, I have way more people who are supportive than people who are negative. And I think you'll find that too, that there are just way more supportive people out there than negative people. I just don't want anyone to bottle it up and keep it to themselves because it can be very debilitating. It's not good for your soul <laughs> to do stuff like that. Anyway, so, you know, I'm sorry about the negative context of this video. I hope that I haven't upset anybody or triggered anybody's anxiety. That's the very last thing that I'd want to do. If you are feeling anxiety, sometimes it can be good just to sit down and reflect and think why is this person doing this to me? Is it because of what I've done or do I, do I really believe that? Or do I think that they must have some insecurity and they're projecting their issues onto me? Because I think that that is the more likely thing to have happened. And there are a lot more positive artists out there. You know, I've heard of like psychopaths and um, crazy people being artists, it doesn't matter, 
you know, they're still just people. <laughs> you can't really like put them up on a pedestal just because they're an artist or because their artwork is great. Doesn't mean that they might not be like a fantastic person. <laughs> Just because you love someone's art, yeah, you know, it's a pity that this person creating the amazing art is a murderer or whatever else. But it happens. They're just people like you and me. They're just people that honed their skills. Anyway, I should really wrap this up because my footage is nearly over. Please like, please subscribe, and thank you very much if you made it this far. I really, really appreciate all of your support. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time on Little Candy Gamer.